This is a project that we started actually in 2007 with the idea of looking at Jatropha Kirkus. We flew a very small experiment with, uh, we had actually six samples uh, on board of the Space Shuttle Endeavour and they stayed at International Space Station for three months. These were undifferentiated cell cultures in liquid suspension. The idea was to see how those cells would multiply in space and if there will be any difference in terms of the rate of growth and multiplication in orbit as compared to ground. And definitely we saw a huge difference. We realized that the cells in orbit, they tend to grow faster in higher volume and in a more three-dimensional fashion as compared to the ground. So that was kind of a preliminary assessment that gave us the, the, the premises to develop further experiments. In 2009, we were funded by the Florida Department of Agriculture Consumer Services through the Farm to Fuel uh, Grants Program and uh, for a three-year research, again, to assess the whole potential of Jatropha, including field aspects, laboratory aspects, propagation, micropropagation, and even an economic uh, assessment of production. And NASA became very interested in, in investigating what effects microgravity could have on Jatropha. And our thought was that uh, we know that microgravity is a very unique environment that could uh, determine some changes in the genetics or in the gene expression and maybe could help us accelerate the breeding program for Jatropha into a commercial crop. Jatropha is a plant that is, uh, is tropical. Uh, so one issue with Jatropha is that it's very cold sensitive. Any cold spells might kill the plant. It will be very important for us to determine or to develop cultivars that will be cold tolerant. Likewise, if we could develop cultivars that would produce a higher oil content in the seeds, as well as other characteristics that could be of interest, that would be tremendous. One thing that we know already is that the quality of the oil produced is excellent. It's very stable, low temperatures, and there is interest even in the aviation industry for using mixes of Jatropha oil in their jet fuels and several companies already tested that successfully. With Shatropha, the idea was if we can get those undifferentiated cells to grow faster, bring them back, regenerate them into plants, which we know how to do it, uh, maybe those plants will have a, a different genetic constitution that maybe, again, can help them uh, have better characteristics as a crop. And, but we may tap into some very interesting genes and, and that may be a breakthrough in science for crop development. Now we're talking about Jatropha, but we can also think about many other crops. We can think about citrus and any other crops that grow in Florida. For me as a researcher, uh, I, I consider myself a different type of researcher in a way that I don't focus on one particular subject and keep going on that direction. I like to move forward. And when I I see the shuttle going up, you know, with my experiment. It's quite emotional. You look up and you see, wow, you know, there's a little piece of me inside that. So it's, it's exciting.